Will spring be early? Or will spring be late? This is by Crockett Johnson, the author of the Herald and the Purple Crayon. It was the second morning of February. The woods and fields were covered with snow. So far, so good. The wind blew from a cold gray sky. This is the day, said a voice from under the ground. This is the day I make a prediction. Will spring be early or will spring be late? The voice came from a hole in the middle of the field. It was the groundhog coming up out of his tunnel, talking to himself. If I don't see my shadow, spring will be early. I can go right out and spread the glad tidings. The groundhog's nose came up in the hole, pausing there. But if I do see my shadow, I'll go back in my tunnel. It'll mean bad news. Spring will be late this year. The groundhog shivered. How nice it is that I'm expected to stay out only when I have good news, he said as he raised himself up onto his front paws. Nobody wants to hear of a late spring. This guy does. He looked at the gray sky. No shadows today, he said. Spring will be early. He hopped out of the hole. I must tell the animals. It will please them all, even the grouchy pig who sneers at my predictions. He started off and stopped. Wait, he said. Spring is an important matter. I must be certain there is no sun. I must make sure I have no shadow. He tried to smell the sun. He raised his ears and listened for it. But all he smelled or heard was a truck on the road at the edge of the field. The road was beyond the end of the groundhog's world. He paid no attention to the truck or the words on it that read Artificial Flower Company Incorporated. As the truck rounded a bend in the road, a red flower flew from it. The flower sailed high across the field on the wintry wind. No sun, no shadow, the groundhog was saying to himself as he examined the snow at his feet. Definitely an early spring. Smiling, he set off toward the woods where most of the animals slept during the cold winter. How delighted they will be when I tell them, he said. My prediction will spread joy throughout the land. And he hopped along happily, humming a spring song. Suddenly he halted. There, with its stem in the snow, was a bright red flower in full bloom. The groundhog stared at it. His eyes grew wide and his mouth opened. Spring, he whispered. Then he shouted, spring, it's here now. He broke into a run. I never have made a better prediction than this. Even the pig will congratulate me. He yelled through the woods. Spring is here, he shouted. Spring, said the badger. The groundhog said so, the dormouse cried, dancing around in the snow. Spring, said the skunk. Is it really spring? The groundhog said so, said rabbit hopping with joy and skidding on a patch of ice. The squirrel stuffed the last of his acorns into his mouth. With a carefree cheer, he jumped from his hollow tree and landed in a snowdrift. Spring, yelled the chipmunk. Thanks to the groundhog, the good predictor, cheered the raccoon, holding out a paw as the groundhog ran by. Spring is here, the groundhog kept shouting in a voice that was becoming rather hoarse. I predict spring is here now. He ran on to the bear's cave. When the bear woke up and heard that it was heard what the groundhog was saying, he roared in delight. Groundhog, you do better every year. Spring, spring in February, splendid. What would we do without you? I don't know, said groundhog, swelling up his chest as he ran off. There's the grumpy pig. <clears throat> At last he came to the pig. The shouting and cheering had waked the pig, and now he was grumpily rooting under a tree stump for breakfast. Spring! Spring! It is here! The groundhog shouted loudly in pig's ear. Harumph! said the pig. Spring! said the groundhog. With his mouth full of frozen roots, the pig turned around and glared at the groundhog. 
Look, he said, snorting and thrusting his snout toward the windswept field. Snow! Ice! It, it's sp 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 spring, said the groundhog, suddenly shivering. Go away, said the pig, and he went back to his rooting. Looks more like a Rottweiler than a pig. The groundhog went back to the other animals. Spring really is here, he said. Come, let me show you. Of course spring is here, said the rabbit. You said so. And you're always right, said the bear. If you were not, we wouldn't believe in you. Come, said the groundhog. The animals followed him to the field where they saw the red flower in full bloom. It was more than they needed to see. They danced in a circle around it and shouted in praise of spring and of the groundhog. The pig stopped rooting for breakfast and came over to see what was going on. The happy animals watched him as he trotted up, the red, up to the red flower. You see, the groundhog said, spring is here. Harumph, said the pig, staring at the flower. Then he rooted it up out of the snow, took it in his mouth, and chomped on it. He tossed the flower aside. The leaves are paper, the stem is wire, the petals are plastic, and a lot of you will freeze out there, out here. As he left, he glanced at the sky and at the groundhog. I have a prediction to make, he said. It's going to snow. It began to snow. See the snow right there. Shivering, the animals looked at the twisted flower, and they looked at one another. The groundhog began to creep quietly away. Just a moment, bellowed the bear. There is some explaining to be done. Who is the cause of this? Why are we out here in a freezing snowstorm? We were celebrating spring, said the chipmunk. We were all so happy, the dormouse said, until the pig came and chewed the flower. Precisely, shouted the bear. And now we're cold and miserable and ridiculous. It's perfectly clear who's to blame. The animals nodded. They blame the pig, of course. And on the second morning of every February, the groundhog continues to make his prediction. Will spring be early or will spring be late?